having a good time. Just not. Cause that's gorgeous. Oh my god. Please. As long. Anyway, um, smile we. Now. Uh, yeah. You had okay, great. <laughs> I think this is what? <laughs> what happened to him. Normal friends. <laughs> 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 okay. We are yeah, like you love it wasn't a jet. Mm. It's <laughs> 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 Can I get? <laughs> okay, good. We could look around every day because <laughs> we told her it was. Ooh, we're at PVC. It was peer pressure. Oh no. 
so that was my 2021 i just wanted to okay well i've been doing this for a few years and i thought i was going to be done with it in my senior year 2019 um and praise god because 2020 literally sucked i was in my room every day like literally staring at the wall like trying not to lose my mind like <laughs> yeah but now that things are kind of back and busy um i decided to do it for 2021 and i just wanted to give insight on what life looked like during a really crazy historic time because at least for me when i was a kid learning about like the holocaust and reading Anne frank's journals or whatever like i was just really intrigued by her i don't know but um it's just crazy to think she had time to be worrying about this little boy she was living with and all this other stuff but she was literally living through a holocaust or the great depression like i was wondering what life would be like back then like were you just depressed every day like the name sounds literally horrible you know um but then to think like this is literally going to be called the great pandemic or um no i went to a church service that put in a perspective for me this guy was saying that this is uh this has had the greatest death toll since the spanish flu and like the worst economic recession at least in the u.s since the great depression hello and i was just thinking like i cannot believe i was hard on myself for feeling behind or feeling overwhelmed or stressed or whatever like we're literally living through a mental health crisis and i do just want to say like the camera was only filming during the really really high parts of my year um i struggled with depression and like disordered eating and you wouldn't be able to tell literally any of that through the videos because that wasn't when the camera was rolling or if it was it was like me going on a walk and like recording the lake because i'm just trying to i don't know like get out of my head um but every day was not like picture perfect and video perfect and i think it's important to be transparent about that when it comes time um i mean the argument with social media is like just it, it brings comparison and just makes people like not feel too good about themselves but i think a good way to combat that is just being honest with like what it actually is like just pictures of the really great parts like the negatives aren't there and that arguably could be a bad thing but i think being transparent in that is better than nothing at all um something i like with like ethnographic research you come in with like you say your biases like your background like where you're coming from the thing because that impacts the things that you notice but you're not coming in saying like oh i have no biases at all you're just being genuine and like what you actually have and documenting that in your field work and so i think that's something that i've been like i took one class that brought up ethnography this semester please but it was so interesting and so i just want to be transparent in my own way i guess so not that every day was great it was just that the camera was only going when the really high highs were there but the lows were there too and you just didn't see them so you know if you ever like feel alone or like oh my gosh i'm the only person going through something like you are literally not um literally not but yeah looking back it does seem crazy to think like this is what you were doing this year but i don't know yeah it was a pandemic but i was still worried about like what am i gonna wear to class like what am i gonna what, what hairstyle do i want to do next like you still live life i guess i'm kind of answering that question for myself because like i said i was like what do you do but if anyone else is wearing that in the future like i don't know regular thoughts are still there you're not just like depressed thinking about the pandemic all the time or you might go to the opposite and just cut off the cut off the um let me not even go there whatever but with time passing by just like so weird it can be easy to forget like what even happened like these past two years visually documenting it for myself was something that really helped me maybe even just writing out one thing a day that's been like helping you get by or just something that you're excited for whatever like that can really help just pull you back into the present moment and remember like all we've really got is like right now and so um i think it was just really helpful to look back and just see like these were the things that really helped make this year feel like worth living honestly um yeah just there's a lot to be grateful for like community it was just really highlighted um or like intentional community um yeah people are just so important and so i just want to thank everybody that was in this video i just made it a point to like um I don't know record cool people i'd met people that i'd work with at my jobs um i forced my best friends to work with me at this golf course the past year and it was literally so much fun it was just like such a crazy turning point for all of us just like getting out of a really bad rut um i'd mention this again but like, the mental health crisis was literally like rough everyone was depressed i'm not even getting me started um but this was just a really cool time to just be reminded of like what is important um, but even during that, like, finding things to invest myself in, it's just weird to look back in the videos and see me, like, 
a dance practice in a mask like literally what it does not feel like we're living in a literal pandemic with the world oh also um i wanted to record this just to like give light on what older buildings look like now because i'm interested to see what the world's gonna look like in about 30 40 years um i don't know if it's gonna change everywhere but i just want to say like with the small town that i'm in i was documenting the gentrification that i'd seen like real time like it's crazy to see the new neighborhoods that are being built but then you still see like more rural sides of town with um there's this like gas station i recorded um i don't know like when older people come to town they say parts of town look like the 80s still but then some of it looks really modern so i'm just it's just cool like driving by and seeing like literally both sides of architecture on the same block so um yeah i'm interested to come back and look at this in a, a few years from now and just see how things have changed um and honestly i could see this video blowing up i could so see this being like played at school or something or just like giving like a little insight on what life looked like now and if it does hey um this is so much cooler than a textbook um i would have loved to watch something like this just to get an insight on time during a crazy crazy wild time period so um yeah if that does but i do want to just claim that i did go out a handful of times during covid i'll be honest but um I would like to say that my university does bi-weekly testing if you're fully vaccinated and um, like I said the handful of times I went out I did make sure to get tested before and after just because the tests were accessible to me and I remained negative throughout the entirety of the year so I um I don't know I'm really grateful for that but also moving forward I am making it like a goal or not even a goal like I'll just be more intentional with going out less with this new variant it's not even like Ooh, we got two seconds of kind of freedom so anyway whatever um but yeah i'm optimistic and i'm hopeful and just grateful for all the experiences i had but i still want to disclaim like i'm not just like out here like being reckless um while going out i still did make it a duty to i don't know be responsible ish so yeah oh another thing that i did want to talk about um technology and socialization so as i was saying this is my first semester of in-person classes since covid and honestly it's kind of weird there was a little clip i inserted of the project that i did on um, the feeling of community among george mason students the university i go to and i just you know like people are really it just wasn't what i was expecting being locked in a house for literally two years you would think people would get out be excited want to talk socialize but Truth be told, this is a generation of people who grew up with cell phones in our hands and we don't know how to socialize on a personal level. Like when I was a kid, my dad took my phone, kicked me out of the house, like not literally, he sent me to like the youth center, but um, took my phone and just like forced me to interact with people. So I'm comfortable with socializing, but not everyone had that experience and phones have just been like a crutch, I guess, to get out of interacting with people personally. Um, and something that I think is really sad is just seeing like technology adapt to our lack of social skills. People have social anxiety they don't want to call restaurants anymore so doordash is like the first resort um the metaverse concept like guys i really really hope that we do not continue to allow technology to adapt to our lack of socialization because we need it sociologists are saying we are digitally connected like never before which is so amazing but the disconnect that we have among each other strange we got to pick it up I'm just hoping that this could somehow maybe possibly radically change the direction that we're going um, and just inspire people to get out more and talk to people more because community is important. Like, I feel like God was just trying to get our attention and he grabbed me by the horns. Like he is just really calling us to um, realize what's important and community, personal, face-to-face, -face, genuine connection, intentional time spent together is important. Yeah, thank you all for watching, and this is likely my last year doing this. I'm back next year. It's a lot of freaking storage, and I hope I'm not. <laughs> Bye!